Hey kids. Okay, some of the exercises that you need to concentrate on are the ones that prevent us from getting weak and feeble way before our time. This is one of those. This area, our upper chest, leads the way to becoming weak and feeble and back problems, neck problems, shoulder problems. So we have to keep this area, our upper chest, fit. Okay, or functional. And this exercise does it best. It's the easiest to master. It's probably the easiest to do. That's probably saying the same thing. But anyway, we have a nickname for this area. It's called the tabletop. It is right below your collarbones. It gets its nickname, tabletop, from this exercise. Because when you lift your rib cage off the bench, it's flat, horizontal, like a tabletop. Okay? When you're doing the movement, you make sure that you maintain that, all right? So that's not exactly natural. You have to practice that. What's natural is as you bring the dumbbells back up each time, every exercise you have to bring dumbbells up and down, um, that sinks, okay? And then you just, you're lying and uh, confirming to the bench, but we don't want to do that. So the rib cage is lifted off the bench. The shoulders are held down against the bench. The back of the shoulders should feel like they're snapped against the bench. Okay? And I'll show you the arm movement without the dumbbells. Okay? The arm looks like that. It's slightly bent at the elbow. It lowers sideways. Now that sideways thing is very important. Sideways of the tabletop. Not sideways of the shoulders. Okay? It's natural to actually lower them behind your shoulders. That's just the way our arms work based on where the shoulder joint is located. But that's wrong. So you have to learn to feel that those arms shape like this. Okay. Lowers, 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 lowers. Good. I did it really good. The dumbbell is going to lie in my hand. You know, that's a recurring theme. Okay, so now I've got the objects. I'll tell you later when they call them dumbbells. Here we go. Good, huh? Now the dumbbells don't have to come any lower than your upper chest or the tabletop. So think about that. So they're lying on the deck now, okay? Way far out to the sides, out of the camera perhaps, but... Okay? At the bottom of the movement, here's how you can check it. Are my palms facing the ceiling? Are my uh, elbows pointed straight down? Palms face the ceiling, elbows pointed straight down, okay? Dumbbells arm back, somebody else can tell you that. And they come back right over my tabletop. When you memorize that, keep that rib cage up and keep pulling those shoulders down. Real quickly, you'll have a stable location, that's your body, and a mechanical pattern, that's how you wag your arms from the shoulder joint, that's very, very consistent. This is called incline flies. This will preserve your entire upper body. It's very important. You'll never be a hunchback of Notre Dame. You'll never have slumped shoulders. You'll never be unattractive. The tabletop is the mantle for your personality. Think about that. If you want a trophy, you'd put it on your mantle. Well, if you don't have a fit tabletop, you do not have a mantle. And you look old before your time. You're really going to look old as you get older. All righty, that's it for today. Woo!